Today was one of those absolutely crazy days at school and everyone is tired and hungry. So it's a perfect night for comfort food. Tonight, we're making Southern Fried Chicken. For today's recipe, you'll need enough chicken for your family. Tonight, I'm using drumsticks, but you can use your favorite cut. You'll need one and a half cups of flour, a half tablespoon of kosher salt, a half teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion salt, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, one to two eggs, and an eighth cup of whole milk. You'll need vegetable oil for frying, and a meat thermometer really makes this a simple task. We're gonna start by mixing all of our dry ingredients together, and that's gonna make our batter. We're gonna have our salt, our black pepper, our garlic powder, onion salt, and we're just going to put all that together and we're just going to give it a good mix because you want this to be well blended. You don't want one piece of chicken getting more seasoning than the other. And we're actually going to do a double dredge. So this is actually going to hit the powdered ingredients twice. We've given this a good stir. We're going to set this aside and we're going to work with our wet ingredients. Now, if you're doing a large amount of chicken, you'll want to do two eggs. I'm only doing a small amount for my husband and I tonight, so just one for us. And I'm going to add my egg and my eighth cup of milk. And in here is my secret ingredient. This is chicken bouillon powder. And it just really adds to the flavor. And again, you just really want to combine these really well. Now that we have everything mixed up, we're ready for our meat, and I'm using drumsticks tonight, so let's get ready to batter. Just a little tip, if you have an old yucky cookie sheet that just really isn't good for anything anymore, take it, line it with paper towels, and if you have a cooling rack like you would use for cookies and you sit it on top, this makes a perfect way to drain your chicken. Now the secret to good fried chicken is having good coating. And this is actually going to be a one, two, three kind of process because we're actually going to double dip our chicken. We're gonna start and we're just gonna roll it in the flour mixture. You don't have to make sure that it's coated just super duper well. You just wanna get a good base coat and then you're going to roll it in your wet mixture. And here's the important part back into your flour. Now on this one, you do want to make sure that you are getting a good coating because this is where that extra crispy crust is going to come from. And we'll just set this aside and do the rest. Now my mother-in-law makes the best skillet fried chicken I've ever had, but the worst burn that I've ever had in the kitchen was from frying chicken. So a few years back we invested in a deep fryer and that's what I'm going to be using today. It's going to allow me to be able to deep fry this chicken, but also cover the top. And I just let it get up to temperature and I'm just going to drop my chicken pieces in there. Now I alternate which direction the fat part of the chicken is going so that it definitely has plenty of room to fry. And I'm gonna drop this in there. I'm going to put the lid on the top and I'm just gonna let it go for a few minutes and I will check it in just a second to see if I need to turn. My chicken has been frying for about four minutes, so I just want to check on it. Even though this is a deep fryer, it doesn't necessarily fully submerge the chicken. So I just want to give it a turn, make sure that it's starting to brown nicely. And again, I'm going to put the lid back on and I'm going to let it go for a few more minutes. One reason people shy away from making fried chicken is because they're afraid they can't get it done, so use a meat thermometer. These things will help you tremendously. So I'm just going to take the lid off. Now this uh, fryer has a little hook that I can just lift it up and let the oil drain away. And I'm going to take my meat thermometer and I'm going to stick it into the thickest part of the meat. And I'm trying to get to 160 degrees. Now this chicken isn't quite there yet, so I'm just going to drop it back down and allow it to cook a little while longer. The chicken has been frying for about 13 minutes, and I did flip it one more time, but my meat thermometer in the thickest part is now reading 169 degrees. This batch of chicken is ready. I'm just going to allow my chicken to drain and cool just a little bit, and we'll be ready for dinner. This truly is a Southern comfort food, and by doing the double dip on your batter, you're gonna have a very crispy coating. And as you can see from the plate tonight, well, this is truly a mum's brown dinner. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and if you would like them to continue, 
Be sure to like, comment, and share. Thanks, guys.